action against the United States for what it says is breaking a quote static equilibrium in the region. This after the United States deployed the THAAD missile, anti missile system in South Korea. But State Department officials say that the deployment is solely in response to North Korea's test. Well, they test launched four ballistic missiles reportedly designed to mimic a strike against American bases in Japan. Here to discuss Leah Gabriel and Peter Brooks. Leah, this, I, you know, when you read about this stuff, even North Korea's warning of a nuclear disaster, normally you wouldn't take it seriously, except this, they've got a nut in control of their country, and you never know what they're going to do. You are absolutely right. I mean, I think in the United States, when we think about other countries, we kind of expect them to be rational actors like the United States is and many of our allies. But North Korea is not a rational a actor, and they do not have a rational person leading the country. Now, I think that it's important to point out that that North Korea in the past has always done a lot of what's called saber rattling, basically putting out what they have and, and showing kind of the type of weapon system But was they it a have. form of uh, a shaking down the rest of the world to these provocative acts in the past? They got things in response for it. It right. feels like recently we, ha we haven't been able to tamp them down. Like, we can't yeah. offer them anything. You're absolutely right. But what I want to point out is that we have our annual U.S. military and South Korean naval exercises going on. And this always upsets North Korea. They see this as a threat. They see this as a practice for invasion of North Korea. And so there's always a lot of saber rattling that's going on. And in the past, North Korea has tested ballistic missiles during this time. But I would say it goes beyond saber rattling when you're actually launching missiles, three of which landed um, within 200 miles of the northwest coast of Japan, one of our greatest allies. So this is North Korea angry about these exercises. They do this all the time. They always do this when we do these exercises. But it's also a test of the new administration in the United States because President Trump basically has said that, you know, that, that North Korea is going to be under control. He tweeted back in January right. about North Korean tests. Right. Um, and so North Korea is testing us here and also testing South Korea because they're, they're in political turmoil as well right now. You know, Peter, I, I thought China's response, perhaps it was textbook and something they had to do. But, uh, you know, th they seem to be so, not indifferent, but certainly have not pushed back against North Korea uh, the way that many uh, in, in the world would like to see them. In the meantime, Japan stuck with this pacifist constitution is like a sitting duck. Well, there's a lot of tensions out there, obviously, and, and to my view, China's uh, response is laughable that it upsets the, the deployment of this THAAD system in South Korea, upsets the static equilibrium out there. I mean, China's uh, building islands in the South China Sea. It's involved in the most uh, prodigious military buildup. Uh, in, uh, in, in this century so far. I mean, it, it's uh, um, unbelievable to me that they're actually saying this. And China ha has influence in North Korea. It has more influence than any other country. North Korea, of course, wants to be independent of China, uh, wants to do what it wants. But if anybody can influence North Korea, it's China. And it really is a response to China's inability to manage North Korea, which is an ally of China, that the United States is deploying these right. missile defense systems to Japan and to, uh, and to South Korea. So, so Leah, um, it's a powder keg. They're building islands. They've militarized these islands. They're been pretty belligerent. Uh, and maybe they want North Korea to do this. You know, maybe they, they want North Korea to be this provocative. Uh, it seems inevitable that something ugly has to happen there. I, I don't see what's going to curb this sort of testing of the new administration, testing of the world. I don't think China actually wants North Korea testing ballistic missiles. I think that China really wants to have its cake and eat it too. And eat it too. Basically, China wants to maintain the relationship with North Korea. China wants North Korea not to reunify, does not want the regime to fall in North Korea because then China would not have the buffer with with the West okay. that, that they have right now in North, in North Korea. So they don't want reunification. They don't want refugees from